This lesson helps you understand angles in parallel lines. A line that crosses two other lines at different points is called a transversal. The angles formed have special names. Corresponding angles are angles on the same side of the transversal in corresponding positions. In this diagram, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding, as are angles 2 and 6, 3 and 7, and angles 4 and 8. Angles between the two lines are interior angles. Angles not between the two lines are exterior angles. Angles on different sides of the transversal are alternate angles. So angles 3 and 6 are alternate interior angles, as are 4 and 5. Angles 1 and 8 are alternate exterior angles as are angles 2 and 7. If the two lines are parallel as indicated by these two hash marks on each line, corresponding angles are congruent. So that's angles 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, and 4 and 8, all congruent angles. Also, alternate angles are congruent. So that's alternate interior angles 4 and 5 and 3 and 6. Also, alternate exterior angles 2 and 7 and 1 and 8. These definitions work backwards. If any of the angle pairs that have been defined in this lesson are congruent, like these alternate interior angles, then the lines are parallel. Finally, one more definition. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are same side interior angles and they are supplemental. If you are given the measure of one of the angles, you can find the measure of all the others. For example, if this angle is 50 degrees, its vertical angle is also 50 degrees. Then the adjacent angles are both supplementary, so they are 130 degrees. Finally, since corresponding angles are congruent, you have the measure of these angles. This lesson helped you understand angles in parallel lines. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. Its continuing mission, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.